Uh -huh. See, the settlement statement mm. is intended to provide the narrative and documentary information necessary yeah. to inform the court and the opposing party of the submitting party's position on the major issues. Mm -hmm. Now, the settlement statement will not be filed in the court file, but the original will be provided to the judicial officer conducting the settlement conference <laughs> with a copy provided to the opposing party mm -hmm. or his or her attorney. Yes. Now, for me to be able to respond, yes, I would have had to have all of this documentation. Oh, oh, oh. That's something I wasn't given. Yes. It's kind of like asking me to, to make a settlement statement. Yes. Without any of the information of what the petitioner wanted. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lawsuit in this, if you can see it. Yes. The requirements of the court rules. Yes is that I should file my settlement statement one week before the actual settlement conference setting hearing. Yes. And it doesn't go to the court. Yes. You'd say, oh, well, I can bring it too. Oh, well, let's see here. Parties will prepare for and participate in good faith. Yes. <laughs> uh, in settlement uh, conference setting conferences. Yes. <laughs> one week prior to the scheduled settlement conference. Yes. Each party shall file one week before. <laughs> A settlement statement in form substantially similar to the pattern form set forth in Exhibit A. <laughs> One week before December 31st of 2012, <laughs> the requirements of the court rules were that I had to file, yes, as in give to somebody the documents that were going to be given to the judge that was going to be there. Now, to be able to do that, yes, my wife would have had to give me this and uh, this oh, and uh, these, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that. Oh, see, I couldn't even do the settlement statement because you never obligated her to serve any documentation on the respondent. Now, there's a lawsuit in this if you understand what I'm. <laughs>